ファーストチェックウィズ杉本。Recently, some big mouth idiot commented on my old video saying, Ah, he's doing wrong. Backside is for the b a r r i n g only. You are supposed to sharpen only the beveled side. Shut the fuck up. These t y p e of guys, they have no real world experience. So, I'm making this video partly because the natural stone I just purchased from Hidatus recently. And partly because the video I just watched the day before yesterday, I believe. It's from one of my favorite channels by John Lovell. If you know John Lovell, you are probably just like me. If you don't know who he is, I will put his channel in the description down below Warrior Poet Society. I will put the video. That inspired me to make this video. So, I will be completely honest with you. I don't like people preaching, even though they don't have real world experience. People who have learned everything by click of the mouse and telling people, you are doing it wrong, you are not supposed to do that. Screw them. So, There will be a time that you have to actually sharpen the backside of Yanagiba or Usuba Deva. But you don't do that all the time. If you do that, you will drastically reduce the lifetime span of these knives. Can you see the reflection of Uraoshi? This is probably a little bit too wide if I show this to one of those internet experts. There is a reason for that. Unlike people who work in the high end restaurant in Japan, we are not just cutting sashimi day after day after day. We are using this for everything. We have to cut shrimp and soft shell crab tempura, things like that. So, this much uraoshi is actually needed. And I will tell you the truth. Things I learned from my own experience, not something I learned on the internet in 15 minutes, 20 minutes of reading. So, to put it very simple, I do say hard things. My words are harsh from time to time because I speak the truth. So, I may not make the video that you would like to see. You may not like what I say. Well, then you don't have to watch my video. If you have been watching my videos, you probably noticed I have never asked, not even once, to click like, subscribe to support my channel, because I don't care. Okay, so let me show you how to use natural blue stone. First,、uh, before condition, Minamoto Akitada. 水の鍛錬所杉本2524。So, first we do Sugimoto.
I'm Axa Stone. Done. Now it's time for Blue Stone. No need to talk in water. Can you tell I'm not really applying any pressure? Partly because I'm using it as kind of medium finishing stone and partly because of the size. You don't want to press down when the stone is this small. Spider core ultra fine. The reason I am using this is because I wanted to show you when to actually sharpen the backside. Recently, some big mouth idiot commented on my old video saying, Eh, he's doing wrong. Backside is for deburring only. You are supposed to sharpen only the beveled side. Shut the fuck up. You know, these type of guys. They have no real world experience. They are talking from what they have learned by click of the mouse, not from their experience, or actually learning from someone. For example, someone like Mari Kata. Okay, this is really a fine stone. And you can see there are many spots that's not touching the stone. If I put this thing on, 1000 grit stone, you will see much wider area touching the stone. So, what does this mean? Well, as you keep grinding down the beveled side, naturally, Uraoshi gets thinner and thinner, or I should say narrower and narrower. And at one point, you have to use medium grit stone. So let's try this. This will probably work without doing anything further, but before I put them on Shapton 6000, let's check out the current state of the edge condition.
So first I try Shapton 6000 to see if I if I need to resharpen the back side with 1000 actually 800 grit Naniwa Chosera. Not that bad actually. So anyone who's thinking I'm doing the wrong thing because I put this side on the stone, use your knife. Stop watching YouTube video and reading online article. Use your knife, cut something really, and then do it over and over again until you feel the cutting performance actually dropping and then sharpen it. Repeat that process at least 10 times and then say something. Don't preach people without any real experience. Okay, that's it. Doesn't look perfect, but I know this is enough. You know, you don't need anything fancy like gunny juice, diamond spray, fancy jig guided system. First, check with Sumimoto. And Mizuno. Uh, but anyway, good enough. This video is inspired by John Lovell of Warrior Poet Society. Very unusual for this type of channel, probably. But this is not a YouTube knife channel. I don't watch any of the YouTube knife videos at all. I mostly just watch filmmaking, photography channel, and artwork in general. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. And I will be making a video about why I am going to quit the job I am doing now. I will have to find another restaurant. But that's a different story for a different video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Another thing is I don't like overcomplicating things. Overcomplicating simple things such as sharpening a knife. You really need a couple of wet stone and newspaper for stropping and that's pretty much it. Don't overspend and don't overcomplicate.